Right? You're done. What? Go for it. Oh, you're supposed to say, like, action. Um, action. Yeah, well, we're going to explain to you how the alcohol system works in the whole entire Sweden. Um, everything is run by the government and there are stores um, in every city and they all have the same uh, kind of liquor, several different options and beer. And um, the way it works is the following. Um, go for it. We're at the, uh, the system Boulanger. Boulanger, I'm not sure how you say it. Um, but it's all, all, all uh, at a regular grocery store, you're allowed to buy nothing above 3.2% or 3.5% or something like that beer. So you get basically half proof beer. Um, so any, any type of, of real liquor, real beer, anything like that has to come through the, the system Boulanger, which is an entire, they have them in every city. It's government, government owned, government regulated, government run um, liquor stores. They, they have limited hours, but. Um, Great selections, good pricing, and once you're in there, you can buy as much as you want. You can. Um, there's not really much limitation on it once you're there. That the only difference is uh, only the government's in it. And they have something very interesting about it. It's um, whenever people place beer in the shelf, they're never allowed to put it into a six pack. They have to put a separate. You're allowed to buy a hundred if you want to. There's no limitation. But those six packs here. They actually have to be inside of the box. When you come to the shelves, they're not allowed to put any six pack because of the psychological effect of six packs being um, something that is going to induce you to buy more than you should. The idea, um, the idea of being a six pack encourages you to drink six beers. Whereas if they put them out one by one, you're more likely to buy one or two or however. Um, one of the it doesn't really happen in the real life. We see people taking like tons and tons of beer and they have different options, like several different options and actually an explanation of what is each. For example, here they have an explanation. Um, they have um, the country where that is from. See, Budweiser. Oh, Americans, you probably don't want to see that. But, and then they have like all the other ones. They are very um, interesting the way they um, set things anybody, up. Anybody who's familiar with other societies that are kind of snow, snow climate and snow, like basically frozen, frozen areas, um, they have massive, massive levels of alcohol. So Sweden's kind of got on top of that with government regulation. Um, for instance, take Russia. Russia's a pretty cold place. Their uh, number one leading cause of death in the country is currently alcohol poisoning. And then supposedly after work, nobody really should drink. Uh, during the week so the only time they really should be drinking is actually uh, during the weekend doesn't really happen in reality but that's the main idea and concept of how it should be you have huge stores several options and it's really hard to pick right I picked two Pick two. Yes, yeah, so blue. I went with this one because it's Swedish. Blue. I went with this one because it's Swedish. Oh, I like that one. That's the one I picked up earlier. Well, these are the two I'm going for. You can have some, but they don't they don't sell them refrigerated either. So I'm going to have some warm beer here in a little bit. That's um, European rule. The completely opposite of the Brazilian rule. In Brazil, it needs to be um, cold. Here, it doesn't really matter. Ooh, I might want to get a Madeira vinho. It's awesome to make something. It's very hard to find in the U.S. too. So I'm going to get a, a Madeira. Vinho Madeira. <clears throat> and they have by sections. You see ciders and beers and wine. And they divide also by country. Oh, got a couple and we'll show the details again later.